I'm here to talk about the futures of knowledge, not about what we might specifically know in the future, but really about a broad type of activity, a shift in how we do knowledge. I want to know, in the age of the internet, what is going to replace the academy? We'll point there until the next slide comes. <laughs> and I think that's DJs of knowledge. And DJs of knowledge, like other DJs, sample original sources, break them down into pieces, and remix them into new creations. In the case of DJs of knowledge, this is the material of knowledge itself. They sample, break it down, and remix it into new ideas. And to understand that, we need to understand two things about knowledge. First, that it's material. Knowledge isn't abstract ideas or absolute truths, but the physical material that actually express those ideas. Knowledge is not the theory of ev evolution, but the individual sentences that express that theory. Knowledge is material, and the material of knowledge is language. So therefore, knowledge can be remixed, just like music, just like video, just like any material. We can take individual words and sentences, pull them out of text, and arrange them into new ideas. Kind of like magnetic poetry, but with a purpose. The second thing that we need to understand about knowledge is that knowledge is social. The idea of the lone genius is a myth. Knowledge emerges out of communities, like this one. It emerges out of conversation, dialogue, debate, the exchange of ideas. In knowledge, everyone's idea is important. Since knowledge is a material, and since knowledge is social, therefore, we can remix knowledge together. If you've ever been in a particularly powerful brainstorming, you, you know this to be true. Imagine hundreds of thousands of people with hundreds of thousands of post-it notes sampling knowledge from all over the world and remixing them into new ideas. And you have a, a basic gist of what I'm talking about. So the future that I'm thinking about for knowledge is one of perpetual collective remixing. And that is a constant process of remixing all sources of knowledge into new creations that's done collectively, not individually. Now, to get to this future, we need to think about a couple things about knowledge. A lot of the elements of this future are already here. Remixing has existed in one form or another for hundreds of years, but primarily it's been thought of as an art form. And we need to focus on four things to really make it powerful as a tool for knowledge production. These are little previews of what we're going to talk about in the next four slides. Micro objects. We need to think about knowledge not as this weighty tome of information, but about small bits of information. Move from big books and academic tomes to individual sentences and words. Things that are lighter and easier to remix and move around. Not big text, little words. Then we need to think about collecting all of these micro-objects of knowledge and all of our remixes of these micro-objects into massive online collections. We need to think about shifting from libraries to databases. Things that can pull all the knowledge of the world together into one place in forms that are easy to remix. And finally, we need, not finally, I've got a lot more slides, we need everyone involved. Because while one remix is great, hundreds of thousands of remixes are even better. It's not about individual expertise or excellence, but collective insight. So we need systems that will support that. We need to tear down firewalls and replace our outdated notions of copyright. And finally, again, I keep saying finally, not finally, online, <laughs> we need to take advantage of this thing that we call the internet. We need to create platforms that are online that enable these types of remixes and this type of activity to happen. We need to create a Facebook or Twitter of avant-garde knowledge remixing. So to get to this future, we need to create methods for remixing knowledge and teach them to everyone. Then we need to apply those techniques to create hundreds of thousands of remixes about all fields of knowledge. And finally, we need to create systems that will collect these remixes and allow people to interact with them. At the Lab for Remix Knowledge, we intend to do just that. Our mission is to revolutionize knowledge through the art and science of remixing. We train DJs of knowledge and DJs of thought in remix techniques and apply those techniques to specific subjects in order to advance our understanding. Currently, at the lab, we are focusing on the mind. The mind is one of the most complex objects in the universe. It is the seat of our interaction with the world. Since antiquity, people have wondered what's up here, or what's here, wherever they thought the mind was back in the 50s. 
We want to be part of that conversation about the mind. We think that we can remix the mind, and I don't mean to dissect and reassemble the brain, but to sample and reassemble language to create new statements about the mind. And this will lead to profound and unexpected insights into what the mind is. And we do that through remixing. I'm going to give you a short demonstration of what I mean. I'm going to sample the text here into a statement, the mind is blank. The remix is going to go into the blank. The mind is signals that process the pure visual shapes into objects that are likewise simple. That's an entirely new statement about the mind that could not have appeared, we could not have gotten to that statement through traditional methods of knowledge. We couldn't have arrived there by writing a book about the mind, by reading a book about the mind, or by getting a PhD in neuroscience. We only got there through the art of remixing. At the lab, we're also creating statements about the mind, how the mind works. The mind works by extracting the recognition of light into patterns that represent the containers. Another quick example. With the Remix the Mind project, we aim to collectively create and collect hundreds and thousands of remixes about the mind so that we can see what kind of new insights into the mind may emerge. We don't know exactly what we're going to find, but we hope that you'll join us in the process. If you'd like to learn more about the Remix the Mind project, learn how to remix knowledge, or contribute knowledge remixes about the mind, please visit remixknowledge.com or find me after the break or find me after everything with a beer in my hand, we'll talk. Thanks very much.